I look like a lion. I'm currently walking around a supermarket in Vilnius train station. We've just arrived from Konas and we are about to board a four and a half hour bus um, to Riga, Latvia in about an hour. So I thought I would stock up on some snacks. I bought some pastries and I'm just gonna pick up some crisps. I can't really find anything healthy here. And then I'm gonna show you the bus because when we were trying to book this, I didn't see very many reviews um, and I wanted to see what the bus looked like inside because I haven't been on a bus in well over, or a coach, sorry, in well over 20 years. I get very, very bad motion sickness and I'm not looking forward to this journey if I'm honest. I could have flown but I thought I'd try something a little bit different. So wish me luck, I need all the snacks to keep me occupied because I can't look at my phone, I can't read a book, I certainly can't look at my laptop. My travel sickness is really, really bad and this is the worst mode of transport for me to choose. So we are flying, no, we are traveling business class in a luxury coach, so I thought I would show you. First up, snacks secured. They love dill in Lithuania. I keep seeing these crisps everywhere. So, do you want to try these? Yep. Okay, that's what we're doing. Snacks secured. So that behind me is Vilnius uh, train station. And the coach station is like a six minute walk. I can see like a sign that says bus station. Um, maybe it's the same thing, I don't know, but we've got just under an hour, so it's fine. <laughs> I believe this might be it. We just keep getting pointed in this direction. I can't see any coaches though, but it does say auto bus station or something like that in Lithuanian. <laughs> we found the right place and where we're going is the 12 o'clock bus to Riga, the Lux Express, so it's 22. So the bus station seems to have way more going on than the train station. There's so many shops here. like clothing, like flowers, seeds, plants, watches. This is more like a kind of shopping centre. Okay, we're just walking up to the bus now. I'm regretting my decision not to go for a last minute wee at the train station because the coach station takes coins only. Although this bus does apparently have toilets, but I don't know, it's only a long four hour and 15 minute journey to Riga and that's actually the next stop. I don't think we stop anywhere in between, so wish me and my bladder luck. I will give you a tour of the bus. Oh, that's the one. It's a grey one. Here we go. It's called the Lux Lounge Bus. So this is what the bus looks like. Actually, these are the regular seats and they do look very spacious. So we managed to see a seat plan before we booked this bus so we asked for um, seats 31 and 32 right behind the red curtain so we have this like fixed table which is really cool and I hope these aren't bags to like throw up in <laughs> but um, the business class I think even the regular class actually they all have TV screens there's free Wi-Fi on board and I'm hoping there's charging sockets um, because the rest of the seats um, it's like an aeroplane so you have a fold down table I think this is quite nice actually to not have a fold down table you can like lay all your stuff out and the loo is down there which I'm a bit worried about going into but I think I will show you these seats look relatively spacious too actually but there's just something nice about traveling in luxury on a coach when you really hate coaches <laughs> Okay, so Jas is demonstrating. Um, in s oh, okay, so you have the thing to lift up, um, which is great. Oh, and you recline. Oh my God, that is actually amazing. Oh, this is another reason actually why I picked these seats because I don't think the people in front of us 
can recline <laughs> and that is one of my pet peeves when people recline in front of me um not that i envisage being able to use my laptop on a moving coach but you know it's all nice to um wow you're not really leaving much space for the person behind you so definitely if you're a solo traveler book this seat um, if not usb sockets by the way 31 and 32 those usb sockets here oh cool okay that's just what we need to know perfect so they also um you can play movies on here which is really cool it's just like a plane oh you can watch tv shows listen to music play audio books hard to see because of the sunlight but you can play games on here oh you have access to the internet tv shows music audio books as well as snacks we've come prepared or i've come prepared should i say i take these everywhere with me i don't actually know how they work but um sometimes i feel like it's psychological um anyway i'm gonna be wearing these most motion sickness bands on my wrists i also have these but i really hate taking tablets so i'll only take them if i need to i have a book which i'm very optimistic about being able to read I think the bus is about to start moving. Oh no, the bus next to us is moving. But nobody's come to check that everyone that's in the business class section has actually paid for it, which is really interesting because, like, you could sneak in if you wanted to, like, take the chance, you know? Um, I'm not recommending that, but if you are so, if you are that way inclined, then I reckon you could like just pay for a regular seat. When we booked our seats, they had a sale on actually in August, and it was like seven euro ninety or six six euro ninety for a regular seat, and the business class ones were like twenty ish euro, but normally they're about eighteen. So there's not much of a price difference, and I just think. Sometimes you just got to pay a little bit extra to travel on a mode of transport that you really don't like. But now we are on the move, um, so wish me luck. Also, I was going to say, they actually have Wi-Fi on here, and I've heard it's very good. I think there's also a coffee station where you can make yourself a black coffee, so that's, or possibly a milky coffee, I don't know. That's also good to know. But um, goodbye, Lithuania. You have been amazing. Like far better than I thought it would be. D d don't you think? Sorry, I'm listening. Lithuania <laughs> has been amazing. Yeah, it's been nice. I like it's it. It's been so, so nice. And we got so lucky with the weather. Because it all... Oh, okay, if you slides on a bus. <laughs> um, the weather can obviously be hit and miss. Okay, I take back what I said. We're about 20 minutes into the journey. And we've stopped off somewhere else. So... Um, so yeah, do not chance it and try and sit in the first class seats because I reckon some of these people are probably heading this way. <laughs> in Riga I look so tired because um, I am I got no motion sickness on that bus which I'm so so happy about I don't know if the bands work I don't know if it's the bus anyway I was saying there was zero motion sickness I just have a really bad headache because I severely dehydrated myself I didn't even want to go and have a look at the loo um, so yeah, okay, they just made an announcement saying it's illegal to feed birds inside or outside of a coach terminal, so I guess you wondered. <laughs> anyway, um, I was really, really impressed with that bus. I got no motion sickness, which is a first. Doesn't mean I'll be doing coach travel very often or ever again, <laughs> but just saying. Um, yeah, it was actually a really nice journey. Definitely worth splurging on the extra comfortable business class seats or whatever. But I hope that gives you an insight into what seats to book if you do this journey. Um, I'm going to end this video here. So thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in my next one, which will be a Riga vlog.